Welcome back everybody. Now it was about a year and a half ago I was at the park with a special guest doing some dumb items that actually worked. Today we're doing it again. I've got a special guest here who can help me out with some more dumb items. Let's get right to it. All right, so my friend Kathy, it's all the way here from Nashville. The two cent chick is here gonna help me review some I'm dumb, excited. some dumb products. And they're pretty dumb. <laughs> she knows what they are, but she hasn't seen them yet. No. So we've got a bunch of dumb products here. We're just gonna try them out and hopefully they, hopefully they work. I mean, I, I try to pick out dumb products that do work, um, but maybe they won't, we'll see. But we're gonna rank them according to two uh, different criteria, how dumb they are and how useful they are. So right. they could be dumb and useful or dumb and not useful, but. I'm gonna let you pick. We've got five items here. Just see which one comes right. off the... Let's get the most embarrassing one out of the oh, way. Oh, embarrassing, okay. I think these are called snap glasses. I was actually impressed <laughs> by the case. Yeah, I think the case is the nicest thing about this. The snap glasses I paid $12 for. Amazon. Amazon. On Amazon, yeah. Everything is... Four of these five are from Amazon. One is direct from the manufacturer. They actually have two features. Not only do they... <laughs> Not only do they snap, see they have these little snap. Like the old snap bracelets. Yeah, the snap bracelets, like that. But that's only half the thing. They also fold too. Ooh, there's more. So you can fold them. Nice. And then you snap them <laughs> on your wrist. I mean, that's kind of useful to some, would that be useful to some people? Sure. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can. First time use here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You have to play with them to get them to sit down on your ears, right? Maybe you can like snap them across, across your head or something, huh? <laughs> oh, it, oh, yeah, like that. Can you? <laughs> well, I mean, they snap. I was actually joking. No, I didn't know that was actually. But I mean, that holds it better than oh, wow. just straight. I was literally joking when I right. said that. <laughs> no. I mean, if it was longer, it would go all the way around, but it's. I can see your hair moving around too. Well, I mean, does it go through my hair? <laughs> I can see a little bit of green, yeah. Yeah. So now let's try the, the folding and the snapping to your wrist. Fold, fold. Yep, and then and snap time. Ow. <laughs> Come on, that's, you have to admit that's kind of useful. I'm defending the snap glasses yeah, here. Yeah, you are, because I am never, ever would wear these out in public. No? Well, you would? No, but... <laughs> okay, all right. But somebody would. Maybe a kid. You, you, could you send, send Johnny to school in third grade with those if they're gonna have a field trip or something? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Poor Johnny's gonna get made fun of though. He but. will, or either he's gonna be the genius of the class, one of the two. That's true. Probably not past third grade. He Depends on his social status yes. going into it, I think. Yes. All right, I'm, let, let's let's switch here and let me let me give okay. it a shot. Okay. All right. Fold. The fold's a little bit awkward because there's just like this right. clip in the middle that's not straight. So I don't know. But let me let me put them on first. Let me put them on first. All right. You know, the quality-wise, looking through them is really isn't oh, that bad. I didn't bad. even think about looking at the quality. <laughs> <laughs> You're just worried about the style. Right. I mean, they're very clear these lenses, at least right now. You can kind of snap. Let me, turn, let me see. Let me see. Oh, it kind of digs into your head. It, and it pushes my ear out a little bit, so yeah. I kind of got that going on. But do they feel weird, like that, on your ear? They, they do like that. Yeah. It pushes. My, to worry about it doesn't it. feel. I don't like that way. It feels at all. All right. So let me try this. Let me try folding this up. Now, would you wear those out? Maybe if I was running or something, or oh, I'm trying to. There's got to be some. Hard. I am. I always try hard to see there because there's going to be people that like this, I and know, if I just bash I on it, they're going to say it, that I wasn't fair. So there's going to be some people that like it. Am I one of them? Probably not. <laughs> We're going to rank these one to ten dumb and one to ten useful. Dumb. <laughs> I'll go a nine. <laughs> nine on the dumb. That's a, that's a, setting the bar pretty high early yeah, on. All right. Yeah, nine. And what about useful? I get a nine for being useful too. I mean, it really? is it is useful, but wow. Because I know a lot of people lose their glasses, so I guess if you had them around your wrist, you wouldn't lose. See, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm just like you, Jay. I'm trying to find good right. in it. Right. I mean, I can see how there's use. You're on the extreme end, I think, of this one. But I'm going to say dumb. It's probably at least an eight, um, and and useful. I'm going to say about a seven. I think it's a little dumb more dumb than useful. useful. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm just kind of I'm trying to leave myself some room in case something's dumber and more useful. So okay. I don't want to go too high right. to start off with. But all right. All right. Well, that was a good first item. Let's see what's next. Mm -hmm. 
while we're in the sunglasses mode, we got more glasses related products here. Now this one, it's funny because I thought this was pretty dumb when I saw it, but when I posted a picture on social media, a lot of people said they didn't think it was very dumb, so. Yeah, when I saw it, I said, <laughs> my uncle has it and loves it. This is the Reader Wrist. And all this, I think this is on Shark Tank. Uh, yeah. I, all this is is a magnetic clip. You have one side that goes in the front of your shirt, the other side that goes in the underside of your shirt, and it basically creates a little a little hook that goes on in your shirt, so you can put your glasses there. My mom, I saw my mom saw this. She was already eyeing it, but she's like, "Ooh, I want to, I want that." <laughs> so I can already attest that there are people out there that want this product. So I'm not going to be hard on this. Well, maybe I'll be hard on it if I don't like it. All right, so you know what? I'm taking the glasses off. Forget it. I can only handle those so long. Wow. I'm starting to like these less as I saw myself wearing them. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what we should do is try these out and right. see how they actually work. All right, so you know how these work then? I think. I mean, I just saw them on my uncle's the, the, sure. the magnets are very they, strong. They are very I mean, strong. I was, very it's, strong. it's way stronger than I thought they were Let's going see. to be. First time. So you just kind of like hold it in place there. Oh, there. That was easy enough. Yeah, it's very simple. All right. So now just put, like, yeah. hang your glasses there, I guess. I'm going inside, I don't need my glasses. Okay. What do you think? It's very <laughs> useful. I probably would not use it, but I could see where, especially if someone has readers, I could see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, using it for that. Give it a tug and see how, how strong it is. Pretty strong, huh? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> sure about that. Yeah, that's. You that's don't say really don't pull too hard now, but. Right. I'm impressed how strong it is. Okay. Right? Because I was wondering if it would work with the sweater, but I don't think it would be any issue working with the sweater. Seeing how yeah, they're strong. very strong. It is very strong. All right, cool. Let me give it a shot. Here we go. You went from the top. I'm, I guess that would be, make more sense. I was going oh, from the bottom. Oh. <laughs> reaching all the way up. Right. All right, let's see. I guess if we take your glasses off, it's kind of weird. I mean, it pulls on your shirt a little bit. A little bit, but it's really strong. I think you would, it would be a lot to take this off. Right. I mean, I usually put my glasses right there anyways which I'd probably just continue to do. I can definitely see that this would be useful to some people. Will I continue to use it? Probably not, unless I was using a button-up shirt, unless I had a, a, a pocket or something, so I don't know. It seems like it's pretty useful. All right, so reader rest on the dumb scale, what do you think? The what? I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the camera. Oh. How dumb is this? Maybe a four. I could see where people would use it. Like, Especially a, a button-up shirt. Well, so that's that's a useful scale. On the dumb scale, you're saying four, but useful. Useful, you say... I would go probably nine. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. It's very useful, I think. I mean, I would not use it personally, no, but <laughs> I could see where it would be useful. Right. I would say on the dumb, I'm, I'm going to go two. I don't think it's very dumb at all now that I now that I've actually Wait a minute, seen I'm it. Wait, I'm writing this the wrong way. No, two. Okay, two. All right. When you see it, you think that's dumb, but then you use it, go, oh, I can see how people would want to use this. Right, so right, I, right. I would say useful. I would say yeah, it probably is a nine. I'd agree on the usefulness. Yep. Huh. And what would you pay for that? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. I mean, it probably cost them 40 cents to make this. Right. You know, but. but look at Bed Bath & Beyond, too, and you should keep on. <laughs> you can get it even cheaper. Yeah, you can get it for like, what, eight bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond with your probably coupon. if it's ten dollars. But quite useful. So I think that this, this definitely is a dumb, somewhat, not even very dumb, it's slightly dumb, but definitely works. Yeah. And we're going to have to move somewhere because there's right. some trombone players sitting up out here now. All right, well, we'll part two goes somewhere else. All right, next up, this is the one that Kathy really doesn't want to try out, but she's going to try it out anyways. But when he told me about it, I thought it was going to be the rainbow old school, because I've seen these before oh, in the yeah. past. No, this one is, I, you know, actually I bought this a year ago. Um, and what's funny is I bought it for like 12 bucks, now it's like 25. Oh. So this is, this looks like an regular umbrella and it is an umbrella, but it's an umbrella hat. The way it works is that this kind of comes apart and fits over your head. Here's how it goes on your head. I'm not sure that's really the best way to do it. And like, what if my head hits this? Like, what's up with that? Oh, well, you're, you're supposed to pull this string it's and then- complicated. I know, and then this goes, into that, into that hole right there. So now, there we go. All right, so now it's fully extended. And then I think this is a chin strap. <laughs> no. I th I, the, <laughs> oh, it just got better. <laughs> I think that's a chin strap, because if you're in the wind or something, I it's gonna guess, blow off. I guess, All right, so here we go. And I have an unusually large head as it is. Okay. Someone who works outside. So are we looking more of this for sun or, or um, rain? It could be used for either one. 
like I mean, I, I use an umbrella in the sun out in the desert. We don't have much rain here, but I can see. If you imagine you're working outside, this would be helpful. I'm trying to defend the, the I, umbrella I, hat. I, I, I mean, yes. I haven't seen how I look wearing this yet, though. I mean, you, yeah. you see what you see what they're seeing. I don't see it. Yeah, I see all I know it. is that it, from a functional standpoint, it, it's not very comfortable either. It's like it's pretty solid, but it's not comfortable. I get, oh, I get there. You go. Okay. <laughs> is that better? No. <laughs> I don't think she wants to put this on. <laughs> I don't know if you would have been able to get that open without looking. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow, it like covers your entire body. <laughs> <laughs> it is tight on the head though. I it mean, is kind of tight. Not good for the hair. Wow, it kind of hurts. I am not going to run in this. <laughs> no? No, it hurt. No. <laughs> I was thinking like at a baseball game, like my son's baseball games when it's like really hot. But yeah, no, yeah. no. If, I it, mean, was more, I, if I, it was more comfortable? Uh, no, just for the... No, but I mean, I have one that hooks to my chair that I, that I oh, use. Well, that sounds more convenient. Did that hit your head or did I just have it down too far? I, it didn't hit my head, but Maybe I can I see how it would. That's a big no. Ah, I just broke it. Oh, I think she broke it now. Uh-oh. Broke it. We have a ca for first casualty out in the park. I wouldn't worry too much about it because I'm probably not going to use it again. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you should not use it again. Yeah. Oh. There you go. She's determined to figure out how to open that up by herself. It's chaos in here. She's Look, breaking it. It's, it's, I did. I, but it's still, I have to guide it. It's a two person but job. But it's bent. Oh, it is bent. Let's see. Oh, it's bent. It's just dumb on many levels. Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, yeah. Ah, child's play on this thing here. It's easy. Not easy. <laughs> Not easy. And, no. So on the dumb meter, on one to ten. Ten, <laughs> ten on the dumb. And useful? I could see where it could be useful. I'll give it a five, four, no, six. I'm going with six. Sticking with six because, no. I'm gonna say, dumb. It's pretty dumb. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be a nine dumb. Useful. I'm gonna say it's. I'm gonna say a. a I'm rolling solid, my eyes under here. <laughs> I'm gonna say. A, I think you're right. I think a solid six on the dumb. I mean, a solid, solid six on the useful. Six on the useful. And I'm gonna say I'm close to you. I think we're, we almost agree on this. It's, it's very dumb. Very dumb. And useful to some people. We had to move because there were some trombone players, and now we're going to have to go figure out where to go from right. here. So yeah. we're just kind of meandering around <laughs> as we figure this video out. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Next one. Next up is the $40 burrito pop. This is a burrito <laughs> holder. And not only is it a burrito holder, and by the way, she just asked me before I hit record if they have different colors. They do, and she asked why I picked this one. I didn't know it had a pink handle. <laughs> I picked green because I had my sub safe that was green. Oh, oh that's And I right. thought they kind of match. They could right, kind of like right. be on my boneyard <laughs> together forever in their green matching color, but I didn't know it was going to have this bright pink handle. So yeah. this is strictly for burritos. So you take the lid off, and then there's nothing magical inside. But you turn this like a big chapstick, and it, and it pushes your burrito out so that you don't have to touch the burrito and supposedly it keeps right. your hands clean, clean while eating a burrito. <laughs> I'm going to say going into this, this is my pick for the dumbest one already, but I, we'll I, see. I'm kind of with you on this. <laughs> um, yeah, on that. I, I should also point out that I actually reached out to them about how to clean this and didn't get a response. And there's no instructions. In fact, hold on. And this, and you said this was a Kickstarter. It was Kickstarter. I bought it direct from the website. So they actually raised money. They did. Originally it was fifty. They've they've lowered the price. You're getting a, a good deal at forty bucks here. I'm thinking nine ninety nine <laughs> tops. Yeah, tops. on sale for five bucks. It, it comes with these stickers. You can buy these stickers separately for eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want some burrito pop stickers? All right. Uh, I have purchased a delicious burrito from Roberto's, which is a, a popular chain here. The thing is, like, when you buy a burrito from something like Roberto's, it's wrapped in tin foil, which already keeps your hands clean. So I don't know why you would need right. this. And and they show that, and and they're there's foil, right? And there's yeah. <laughs> in their promotional videos, they show it with foil in the burrito pop. Like, it's like doubly clean. I don't know. I didn't see a lot of positive comments about this anywhere. So uh, <laughs> I'm surprised they even had comments on the videos I saw. It's in foil. It's in foil. It's not even like an overly large burrito. No. It's like it's going to keep it warm or I guess it's you know, you can't even, you can't even close it. <laughs> Did you have it all the way down? Did oh, you? let me see. Maybe I didn't. Oh, it is all the way down. I can barely close this. I mean, like I feel like I'm smashing it by closing it. All right. I, I, 
what what are the reasons that you would use this? Like for I like wouldn't the, use this. But I'm saying it's like, oh, you carry it around. Like say you're an art festival, or they have food trucks somewhere, and you're walking around, and you don't want to finish it, so you put it back on um, and carry it with you some more. Uh, you're pulling to James now, trying to find uses for it. <laughs> I, I am. For every product out there, there's someone who had an idea of why it would work, and right. in their mind it works. So they're in right. their if in their mind it worked, in other people's minds it must work. So there must be people out there that think this works. I think it's probably one of the most ridiculous products I've ever seen. But I think it has to because I'm trying to think, okay, that person has obviously had issues eating a burrito. You wouldn't use this at home. They show guy, the person walking down the street swinging their burrito <laughs> you know, in their video. They do. They do. Okay. But, so I guess I'm going to open up the burrito and I'm going to take a couple bites of it and, and see how it works. So, I yeah, mean. I want to see how this works. And it's so large. You're like, where are you going to store this thing? I'll say a water bottle fit in there. Oh, it's funny. They, Roberto's put it in paper in foil. In oil. So, nice. like, it's double wrapped already. Because if you went somewhere like Taco Bell, the burritos aren't that big. And... I, oh, if you went Taco Bell, it would it would drown in there. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. I think I'm ready. Put it in there. <laughs> oh, my burrito is, it needs to be, it needs to come out a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. Nice. It's, it's a kind of fun, though, in, in that respect. It's like... Okay, now try eating it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Mm. Oh, clean. Mm -hmm. No, nice. That's a good burrito. Mm. <laughs> you know, save it for later? Mm. Somehow the flavor is enhanced on the burrito pop. <laughs> Or I guess it could be like, hey, I changed my mind. I don't want to eat this whole thing now. Let me put it in my burrito pop and I can eat it later. We're making fun of this product. And I feel a little bad because the inventor had, obviously has a reason, had a reason for inventing this. Right. Obviously he must, he, she must eat a lot of burritos and this is an issue. Right. But for the majority of the people, people out there, I don't think we have a problem eating burritos say you're say you're the construction worker who work who lives across the, works across the street from a burritos and you have a burrito every single day there you don't always finish it it's perfect okay. for you perfect. <laughs> but perfect. i'm really stretching to come up with a scenario where this i mean this isn't for the mass public to no use. absolutely not but this and, is and for the price tag it, right that's another story this is so dumb that she's feeling guilty about the inventor <laughs> i mean that's how dumb this is i'm, pr I'm probably going to get an email from the inventor i don't, Every time I, I, I review a product from an inventor and I list any cons at all, I get an email from them every single time. There's one way to use this. You put a burrito in there and turn and turn the crank and, eat, and, the, and that's the it. Burrito, so there's, yeah. I can't, if, if they say I'm using this wrong, <laughs> then there's something wrong with this if I'm using it wrong. I don't think I need to really do much more with it. It works, it works like I thought it was going to. It, the product works. So dumb meter one to 10. There's gotta be dumber products out there, but for this, Okay, I'm giving it a 10. Yeah. And then on the use, uh, does it work? It, it uh, you know, it, it works. <laughs> was it difficult to eat? I mean, did no, it did no, it feel it, awkward? No, no, it was, it, it worked. I'll give it a nine. Wow, <laughs> very generous. That's, that's, that's a guilt nine though. I mean, I think there's I, some guilt in that nine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your hand was clean. You didn't get messy. Right. You didn't get anything on your shirt right. or your shorts, so. Oh, actually, I did. I, <laughs> I got, I got some stuff. I on that's my when shirt. you were trying to open it, though, wasn't it? Was it? Maybe. I think the the procedure of opening it and putting it in there was messier than right. actually eating it. So I'm gonna say it's a ten on the dumb scale. I mean, it's there aren't much any more well. dumb products that I've used in that. Um, it does work. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go five. I, don't <laughs> I think that there's the, the the five that it's useful for. There's gonna be people out there that use it, but there's a lot of people who would never use something like this. No. All right. Well. We have one more thing to test out and then wrap this thing up. All right, we got booted out of our park because of the trombone players. We, it's been kind of a hard to find yeah. a spot, so we just picked a random spot. We're going to do the last item, which is the self-stirring mug. Now, have you ever seen a self-stirring mug before? I've seen a self-stirring cup. The difference between a cup and a mug, mug is the handle, handle, I guess, right? Right, so, so it was... Did it work? It did work. My stepbrother used it for chocolate. He loves chocolate milk. And oh. he... You know what's funny is that I found this on, I looked up dumb products and <laughs> half the list had this on there. So I mean, it must be just dumb. by default, it has to be on there. One thing I've noticed, I've had this for one day. It's already got fingerprints all over it, yeah, which, would make, it. which would make me OCD out. Yeah, me too. And then it takes two uh, AAA batteries, not 
included. Not much to it. There's a button on the handle. And this lid comes off. And there's a little propeller in there that makes a noise. You have to hold it down too. So I brought some hot cocoa and some hot water in my hydro flask. That after that, we're gonna clean it out and then try something else and see how it goes. Right out in the middle of this remote parking lot. <laughs> it wasn't what I had in mind. This wasn't what I had in mind, but this is, that's where we're at. It's like if we're camping. It's kind of, I guess, I guess maybe it's better to do in the middle of nowhere maybe. without trombone players in your ear. Yeah. Got the good stuff. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hydro flask. I just like saying hydro flask. Hydro flask. Yeah, if it comes squirting out of there, I'm going to be oh. upset. <laughs> All over your camera. And do it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, yeah, that looks like a tornado. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I gotta want to stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it. It seems very fun. It is fun. But it looks mint. I mean, wow. it's hard to tell with the... I have a glass we can pour it into to check. Okay. See how... Oh, it looks pretty good. Is there anything left in the bottom there? Nothing in the bottom. Pretty Nothing. good. Oh, yeah. Jeez, it actually worked. Does it need to put what it is? <laughs> Do they have to put that, that on there? Is That's that so part bad. of the dumbness of it? I'm well, I'm, it works better than I thought it was going yeah, to. I thought there would be some lumps left, but no. Wow, it actually surprisingly worked. All right. I'm going to try to clean it out. Yeah. I'm not sure yeah. if that's the best way to clean it out or not. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of spraying out of there. They need like a self-cleaning mode, I guess. I don't Unless know. Unless there's a lid. I should have put the lid. Oh, yeah, I guess. I don't know, but... All right, with the semi-cleaned out mug, now we're going to try some... Uh, some powder. This is like a strawberry powder and we'll be able to see how well it mixes. About a half a scoop. <laughs> oh, there's a giant clump. Look at that. Here's, not for the test. Oh, I feel like it's going to spray. I know. Well, you have to hold it, don't you? You can actually see all the way in there. That's kind of cool. You can see the, yeah. uh, the blade spinning. Very cool. All right, let me see how clumpy this is. I went about, what was that, 15 seconds, something like that? Let me see. There's, there's not much in the bottom. There's a little bit, not much. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think if That's I stirred good. that with a spoon, I probably would have had the same amount. The same, so. right. I'm, gonna, I'm going to declare, officially declare, the self-stirring mug to be a product that works. Is it dumb? Probably. How would you rank the self-stirring mug on the dumb factor on the from one to 10? I'm gonna go six. I don't think it's so dumb. You're not, not that dumb. Okay. <laughs> I think having this written on there is dumb, but that's might be the that might be the dumb factor. Right. Of it, is to write it on there. Right. Uh, as far as the uh, usefulness. Usefulness. Like. I'll give it a nine. Yeah. I mean, it's. I mean, it's useful, but is it even better? Is it better than a do spoon? Do you need it? No. Do you need it, you don't need it. I'm gonna say it's not as dumb as I thought. I thought it was gonna be. I would say it's a good six. I would say it's usefulness. I mean. I'm going to say a six. Let's try six across the board. It's useful. And it, it works. So. How many people need it? Not many. There'll be, there's always, you can always Someone. find exceptions. Yeah. So. It might take as much effort to push it in as to stir it. So I'm not sure right. that really saves right. you as far How as How much that. was it? That plays into it. 12 bucks? Oh. I'm glad I tried it. Will I keep using it? I don't, I don't know. But <laughs> if I offer this to you, would you take it? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can, I always try to see if I can get, use things after my review so I can update them a year later. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if some of my family will use this. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try. All right, well, I think that's it. We've tried all of our dumb products. What's your favorite? If you were to have to take one of these home with you, which one of these would you take? The umbrella hat, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, maybe the sunglasses. The sunglasses. <laughs> I, I wouldn't use it, but just because I would take it because it was the smallest. <laughs> I'm going to say the self-stirring mug if I had to pick one. You would <laughs> I, take it. Think, I don't know if it's necessarily the best product of all of these. I think some of these may, may be more useful, but I think I do drink coffee in the mornings. Okay, I do not. I do uh, sometimes mix uh, something in my tea, like sweetener, or, and I have powdered drinks. I might find use for it, so maybe, maybe. but it's still pretty dumb. Yeah. <laughs> but if you've tried any of these products, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate Kathy joining me for this Thank you for collaboration. having me. I will link her channel below, and I'm actually going to be in one of two of your videos two, two of coming them. up, so be sure to look out for that as well. So, appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> look at this, I am absolutely set. I got, I got my lunch, <laughs> I've got my, my drink, I'm shaded from the sun, and I got an extra pair of glasses here. If I want to put these aside, I can put them on my wrist. 
All right, where's the party at, everybody? <laughs> where's the party? You're not invited. <laughs> I'm not invited to the party? All right, no. well. Gotta go home. <laughs>